Hello Sagittarius, this is Renee and welcome back. This is your next 48 hours and I've already drawn the cards to make it a little bit faster so the video doesn't go so long. So Sagittarius, if this reading resonates, like and subscribe. If it doesn't, take a look at your other placements and see what messages come out. They may be resonating with you more. Okay, so Sag. In the first row, we have free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. And we also have let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. So there may be something that you're dealing with, some kind of freedom that you're pursuing. Okay, and I feel like maybe there's friends that's going to be helping you along the way. And don't be afraid to ask, Sag, because I feel like what you're looking for is stability. Okay, and what's coming towards you it may be truth and clarity. I feel like you've been thinking about a lot, right? And there's this King of Pentacles energy that could very well be the stability that you're looking for the next 48 hours, okay? And I, I feel like this King of Pentacles represents that stability that you're looking for, that stable energy. Whether this is a new person coming into your life or this is the energy that you're taking on. But I feel like something is coming forward that you may not be expecting that actually you've been maybe manifesting or wishing for, you know, this is having everything that you need, you know, uh, taking care of your needs and your wants. So something is something good is coming forward for you in the next 48 hours. Okay, let's take a look at the middle row. We have building blocks. The number 28 may be very significant for you. And with these building blocks, I'm really getting the feeling that, you know, there's something that you're building, there's something that you're growing, but you are expanding as a person. I feel like you may be going through a lot of changes, but in, in seeking this stability, whatever this is that you need, I feel like there's a lot of changes that you're going through. There may be new actions that you're taking, Sagittarius. You may be starting a new project or starting some new creative ideas. But I feel like at this time, there's like a burst of energy coming forward for you. That's what I'm feeling, this burst of energy. Okay? So and I feel like a lot of good things are coming from whatever this new beginning is for you. And it's going to be different for all of you. Right? So... If, if we take a look at this top row, we go from the Four of Pentacles to the Ace of Wands to the uh, Ten of Cups. So I feel like there's a lot going on, but you're going from wanting to taking action to finding that happiness, finding what it is that you need, okay? So I feel like that's really beautiful. Okay, and even if we go this way, we go from wish fulfillment to, you know, gifts and finding that balance, you know, that equal give and take, you know, someone giving and not taking more than you're receiving, right? And we go to the Ten of Cups. So th this is a really good reading. There's a lot of balance here. Okay, so I feel like there is some kind of equal give and take here. You may also be receiving some kind of generosity from someone. This may be, you know, as they said, a friend coming in to help. You know, this may be someone that you're collaborating with that's offering you help in your situation, new ideas, new ventures, you know. Um, we also have the Seven of Swords in this middle row. So I feel like, you know, there is something that you need to be aware of. There may be someone who is um, maybe lying, cheating, or stealing, right? So someone is being a little deceptive because we go from the Nine of Cups to the Seven of Swords to the Eight of Swords. So there's, for some reason, you know, you have this wish fulfillment. Maybe you've come into some money and now you're kind of guarding it right? Because I feel like, you know, there, there's someone around you 
who doesn't have the best of intentions. Okay. And I feel like you may know who this person is because you're holding back. You're, you're blocking yourself from that energy. You're like withdrawing. Okay. So and that is something that you may need to be aware of that, you know, this energy is changing here at the bottom. So if this is something that you're not expecting, be aware, right? Okay. In this last row, Sagittarius, we have teaching and learning. Archangel Zachiel, keep an open mind and learn new ideas, then reach, then teach these ideas to others. Okay, so you may be teaching someone something. Um, you may be learning something in order to teach someone. You may be in school to be a teacher or, you know, you may work with children. Um, but I feel like there's something that you're learning that you want to pass on to someone else, right? In this last row, we have a lot of happiness here. And we also have things being exposed, okay? I, I get that things are being exposed with this high priestess. There's something that maybe you're not aware of, but I feel like it's coming out. The veil is coming down. And whatever it is that you're looking for answers for, you're going to get the answers that you need, right? Because that veil is starting to lower. You're starting to see things more clearly and get that clarity. Okay, it could be something that you're researching, something that you're trying to learn that you um, may be trying to perfect. But I feel like it's also a very good time to listen to that inner voice and use your intuition. Trust yourself, okay? Because your intuition is not going to steer you wrong, okay? Usually that, that inner voice, that gut feeling, you know, um, will lead you in the right direction. So just be aware, okay? And we have the Eight of Swords. So like I said, I feel like there's a reason why you're holding yourself back. It could be about something that has been exposed. Some kind of truth has been revealed with this King of Swords energy. Um, but I feel like you're learning something. And you're learning to withhold your energy from things that really don't matter to you. Okay? That's what I'm getting with that. So let's go ahead and clarify. Sagittarius. Let's see what's going on for Sagittarius the next 48 hours. Let's see what's going on for Sagittarius. Let's clarify these cards. For the Four of Pentacles, clarify this Four of Pentacles, please. For the Four of Pentacles, we have the Temperance. Yeah, you're looking for a blessing. I feel like you're, you're being patient. There's also, um, the, with this stability comes balance, right? But and I feel like it is something that you've been very patient for. Maybe it's something that you have really been trying to work at. Okay, Sag? Um, but I, I, I feel you're doing a good job. You're working at it. With this King of Pentacles, we have the Queen of Wands. Wow. So... I feel like with this Queen of Wands energy and the King of Pentacles, you know, this could be someone that you're leaning on. This could be a helpmate to you, right? Um, but I feel like this Queen of Wands energy, this is a doer, okay? And where the King of Pentacles, he's a saver, okay? The Queen of Wands, she's a doer. She's a go-getter. You know, she, she makes things happen. And she doesn't care about what people think, how she does it. You know, she just she just goes out to get it. Okay? So I feel like whatever you're doing, you're taking good action. You're being you're you're putting your your best foot forward is what I'm getting. Right? For this nine of cups, we have the high priestess again. So yeah, you're trusting yourself. There's things coming out. This is truth. This is honesty. This is following the lead. Okay? Being that 
true leader following your intuition okay and I feel like that's what this nine of cups is all about because it's giving you that ego boost and building your confidence so that you you know that you know your intuition is leading you in the right direction right tell me about this ace of wands energy give me a message for this ace of wands energy spirit at the middle of the the spread we have the six of pentacles so i feel like there's a lot of help here okay this is a gift being offered to you you know there's a, there's balance here equal you're feeling more equal more upright you're coming into balance in your situation okay so if you were feeling like upside down if you were uh, feeling like you were doing without now things are coming around and you're becoming equal in your situation you're you're recovering okay so with this ace of wands energy we have the queen of pentacles okay so yeah whatever this whatever this ace of wands energy is it is leading to more stability this is just clarifying what we see in this row because the queen of pentacles look how she's nurturing that pinnacle she's like holding it up and saying how much she adores and cares for what it is she's working so hard on there's there, there's something in your life that you're taking action on that you really really are putting a lot of energy into okay and i feel like this is what's going to bring you stability abundance you know improvement right so what do we have for the six of pentacles spirit give me a message for the six of pentacles please message for the six of pentacles the nine of pentacles see the luxurious lady increase abundance feeling independent okay you you can get help from others but you know you can do it on your own right because you have that independence you have a lot more self-worth at this time right or your self-worth it you're feeling an increase there's a lot of improvement so if you are lacking in money it's coming in okay so sag tell me about this seven of swords please for sagittarius message for the sagittarius who is this energy what's going on with the seven of swords yeah something's done and over with wow it may be someone that you ended something with and now they're trying to come back and kind of tiptoe their way in but someone is trying to kind of take advantage of you i feel Sagittarius and it's someone that you ended things with could be an ex energy um, but I need you to be aware of this energy tell me more about this ten of swords seven of swords ten of swords tell me more about this what is this energy the knight of swords yeah it's it's someone who has a grudge to pick someone who has a grudge against you someone who has done you wrong in the past is trying to come back in and do it again okay so be aware of that energy i feel like if that message is for you i feel like you know who this is or you know who to be aware of right okay tell me about this ten of cups energy please tell me about this ten of cups for Sagittarius the magician you're creating things there's beautiful things happening for you you're creating you may be manifesting bringing something down into reality you know something that you've been working on um, something that you have thought a lot about you've actually manifested right Tell me about this 
High Priestess. Give me a message for this High Priestess, please. For the High Priestess. Okay. The Page of Pentacles. So I feel like whatever this is that's being revealed to you is going to be good news. Okay. Um, I feel like someone is offering you whatever information this is. And I, I feel like it's going to like bring everything together. Okay, but I feel like you're going to actually find this as good news. Um, okay, uh, tell me about this Eight of Swords. Give me a message for this Eight of Swords, please. Okay, the Nine of Wands. Yeah, beware of this. So you go from the Eight of Swords to the Nine of Wands. So... I mean, you're holding yourself back and you're defending something, right? You're standing up for something. Um, but you're not backing down. You're holding it together. Tell me more about this Nine of Wands. Give me more messages for this Nine of Wands, please. What is this Eight of Swords, Nine of Wands energy? Okay, that could be this past energy. Page of Cups, some kind of offer, some kind of offer, and it just don't feel right. So you're like, oh, wow. Yeah, you have the um, Six of Swords in reverse. Yeah, some kind of offer, and you, you can feel it doesn't feel right because you're not moving in the right direction. You know, the Six of Wands is upside down. It's not moving. It's not moving in the direction it needs to go. So I feel like whatever this love offer is here, or if it's not a love offer, whatever this offer is with this page of cups, whatever this is, you're not buying it. You're like, no, nah, mm, that's too good to be true. Mm -mm. So be careful for scammers if this is a scam um, or something that may feel too good to be true. Right? Because I feel like that's exactly what it is. And um, Spirit is letting you know to be strong, be capable, be confident. Because you have that strength. You have that Leo, that Leo vibe here, right? And we have the Sun and the Ace of Pentacles. So definitely, definitely, you're strong in this reading, okay? But there's some energies around you that just aren't vibing good with yours. Okay, but your energy is good, Sagittarius. You have new beginnings, happiness. You have the sun, the uh, ten of cups, the magician, the ace of pentacles, the ace of um, wands. Yeah, you have the ten of cups again. So yeah, you, you're good. You're good, whatever it is you're doing, Sag. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get an angel card for Sagittarius. Get some more messages. What do we have for Sagittarius, please? What do we have for Sagittarius? We have psychic insight. Your third eye is open. See truth for what it is and follow your intuition. Yeah, we have the high priestess twice. So definitely... The, your intuition is heightened at this time, right? There may be some kind of awakening happening for you because we have the psychic insight as well. So definitely your intuition may be giving you that those little sparks, you know? So just listen to those little sparks. Listen to your intuition, okay? And we have focused intention. Think about what you desire and set your sights high. Expect the best possible outcome, okay? So, good things happening for you, Sag. Okay, let's go ahead and get a Moonology card. See what's going on for Sagittarius. Message for Sagittarius, please. Next 48 hours. Okay, we have Don't Let Pride Get In Your Way. Leo Energy. There's that strength card coming out again, right? But like I said, don't be scared to ask for help if you need it. If you need help, Sagittarius, 
don't be afraid to ask. You know, don't let your pride stop you from any improvement. Okay? And we have one more moonology. Bring love into your situation. The moon and an Aquarius. Okay. So now we will get an angel number and see what messages come out. Messages we have for Sagittarius. Message for Sagittarius, please. 1515 creativity. Yeah, that's that magician energy, right? Being creative, creating something new. This is very similar to like a new beginning, right? Um, keep assessing the creative connection that you feel to the divine. The whisper speaks through your creative connection, allowing you to express the beauty that is within you and connect you to the love that is around you. Okay. And your affirmation, Sagittarius, creativity is my birthright. And as I express my creativity, I feel a beautiful flow of love and connection okay so that is your reading Sagittarius beautiful energy now if this reading resonates like and subscribe hit that hit the bell you know the notification and uh, make sure to comment below if you'd like you know I love to read your comments and it also helps build my channel um, and if it doesn't resonate Sagittarius make sure to take a look at your other signs they could be resonating with you more if you know your your moon your rising or your venus okay and sagittarius until your next reading many blessings to you love and light